Hello everyone, my name is Wall Street, and today we're going to check out a new animator. Someone who I've been watching for a while, and honestly is one of my favorite storytellers on the platform. Which is Let Me Explain Studios. So, she released a new video. And I am a little late to this. I will admit, I'm a little late. YouTube didn't give me notifications for this goddamn video. Like, I did this why I don't like YouTube's notification system. Even when you ring the bell all the way up, it sometimes doesn't give you a notification. It takes me off. YouTube, the bell system worked. And then you have to go and screw it up. Anyways, we're going to watch this video. Finally, and see what it's all about. Like, why running away from home is the title. Obviously, it's running from home, but why? Anyways, let's begin. Gone. Oh, hello, my geeks and peeps, my explainers and entertainers, my little <laughs> oodalallies, Rebecca Parham here. I know exactly what you're thinking right now. You're thinking, Becca, why do you have that handkerchief bag on a pole, commonly referred to as a bendel that was popularized in the 1930s as a way to visually represent the impoverished migrant workers of the Great Depression? Are you running away? You, you didn't have to give me a history lesson. lesson. Jesus Christ. <laughs> It's too early for history. I just did 10 chapters of history yesterday. Ah! Uh. Now what would give you an idea like that? I'm just out for a picnic. However, if you care to join me, I'll tell you a story about running away. I believe every single one of us as children went through phases. Some of us had a dinosaur phase, a pony phase, a space phase, any period of time where you got particularly fixated on a subject or idea. Come to think of it, I don't think we ever stopped going through phases. Now I know you're not gonna believe this, but as a kid, I was kind of weird. Breaking- <laughs> Sorry for interrupting you, but I went through multiple phases. Now, from everything I understand, mine were a lot more intense because of my autism. However, I went through a dinosaur phase. I went through learning everything I could about sharks. I went through a titanic, britannic shipwreck phase. I went through a natural disaster phase. I went through an American history phase. I went through... Uh, I went through a space phase. A wasting phase. A gaming, hardcore gamer phase. I went through a music phase. The only phase I never got into was the My Little Pony stuff. I somehow skip over that one. Currently I'm in the anime phase, YouTube phase, TikTok phase, and making dumb joke phase. news an adult artist was weird as a kid this in a new research study showing that youtubers are not as energetic in real life as they are in their videos more at eight all right all right yes it's no surprise to anyone that i was a weird kid and one of the really bizarre phases i went through around the third grade was this idea of running away from home to play this game i would tie up some things into my baby blanket hang it from a stick over my shoulder and pretend i was leaving home mostly by going into a different room in fact, at one point, I began to lock myself in the bathroom and pretend it was my tiny little house what? in the woods. <laughs> what? Running away to a house in the woods. The things children come up with. Honestly, <laughs> though, as a kid, I never once thought of actually doing it. I was oh my weird, God. not stupid. Apart from having no life experience to take care of myself, adults were generally in cahoots with each other. The grand majority of them had this belief that kids shouldn't be walking around outside by themselves or some such tyrannical nonsense. I knew I'd never get out of the neighborhood without a concerned adult picking me up and returning me to a very angry set of parents. So no, I had no intention of running away. Well, your neighborhood sounds way nicer than mine. 
my neighborhood didn't give a fucking shit about the kids. I seen foils walking around the street like it's nothing. Now, to be fair, I live in on the outskirts of a big ass city. And just to say at the least, we had a drug raid around 2015 and 74 people were arrested in my neighborhood alone for drugs and 150 were search for drugs. I live in a fucked up neighborhood, okay? And I know, I know this, I know, I know anime is, it's designed by YouTube algorithm to push for kids. I'm not for kids. I'm a adult, I want to just talk like myself, microphone quit being me and being broken. Can, let me be me, okay? <laughs> I don't want to see anyone in the comments saying, this is for kids. I'm an adult. I say adult things. Deal with it. <laughs> Wait, but mom and dad didn't know that. I don't know what got into me, but one day I wanted to play a practical joke on my mom, and I enlisted the help of my sister to do it. Around this age, Rachel and I were no longer going off to the local daycare after school. We were old enough to walk home. That's right, I eventually achieved my dreams, and hey. thereby became a latchkey kid. Rachel and I would walk home from school, use our own key to get in, and then we'd have the place to ourselves for about an hour or two before mom got home. Just enough time for tomfoolery. One oh unsuspecting day after school, I was bored, and thus came the aforementioned harmless prank. I was still in my running away phase, so I wrote a note for mom to find when she got home. The oh note no! Basically said, Dear mom and dad, I ran away from home, but I'll be fine. Don't put up signs trying to find me. I'll build my own house and get a job. Blah, 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 yada, yada. Uh, love you and goodbye. All right, come to think of it, in retrospect, this might not have been the most harmless of pranks to play on a parent. That's a fucking well, listen, emotional prank, my dude. And she was all in. Oldest child is supposed to know better. Just saying. <laughs> That's the older child in my household. But the youngest out of all my cousins. But the second youngest, my sister is technically the youngest. Um my philosophy is that as long as you don't do harm to me and you're not gonna get me in trouble, I'll make sure you can do anything you want. Which includes pranks like this, because we love to see the younger person get in trouble, because we often got more punishments, because we wasn't as spoiled. Yes, you heard that right. You younger children are often spoiled out of your goddamn mind. I remember not doing ditches once and losing all my electronics. My sister hasn't done ditches yet when I was doing ditches at eight. And she's older than eight. So, it pisses me off. So, if I can get you in trouble, I'll be happy about it. Really shirking your responsibilities as a big sister there, Rach. I put the note on mom's nah, phone and when the big garage door job. opening, I made myself scarce. Apparently, Rachel hid too, I guess for good measure. And when mom walked into the house, she went into her bedroom looking for us and noticed the note. Uh-oh. Mom, did you read the letter? Yes. Weren't you going to go out and look for her? Oh, well, I figured she'd come back when she got hungry. Oh, the care and concern I felt from my loving mother in that moment. Nah, she was using that big brain of hers. To know that since you're still in day school, you're still a baby. That's big brain. Now, as for my mother, the way my mother looks, and my dad, because they have connection to police, they will work all over the place. 
so so they can ground me for 10,052 years. Because I made a joke about running away once. Just a joke. And they said as soon as they find me, and I'm still younger than the dogs at night in college. Yeah, I'm grounded for 10,000 years. Have fun trying to have a life. Because you're not going to be able to touch technology even for school. So. Yeah, that was my parents. While my sister, who said she would run away, was told that she was going to just get hugs and kisses when she comes back. It's like, what the fuck? Obviously, Rachel and I were disappointed. But then Mom got an idea. An awful idea. Mama got a wonderful oh, awful God. idea. <laughs> Let's get your dad. You oh, know, oh, parents oh, may not always be cool, but sometimes Jesus. they're pretty cool. Our prank had been given life once more. And when dad came home, mom met him at the door and put on her best acting chops. Oh my gosh, I found this letter on my pillow. I think Becca ran away. What? Yes, look. What did you do? Did, did you say something to her? No, he actually did that. He blamed my mom immediately. <laughs> that would be my dad, too. That would be my dad, too. Okay. Just for those who want to know why. The reason why I went to the corner. Because in my household, because my dad works 8 to 12 hours a day. Depending on what the work is looking like. To say at the least... When someone in the house will say, I'm going to get dad, it's going to go one of two ways. A big ass lecture or a comedy fence. There's no middle ground. You're either going to get stoned and ridiculed and crushing on your morals and standards. Feel like the dirtiest, shittiest person on the face of the earth because he will lecture you. Or three plus hours of nonstop comedy laughing. And memes and inside jokes for the rest of your life. That's how it goes. It looks like it's going to be the comedy one. So I'm happy. I feel comfortable again. Also, Dad, that was a bad move. <laughs> no, I did not. Rachel, have you seen your sister? No, she walked home ahead of me. I haven't seen her. And the Academy Award goes to these two. Because Dad bought it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, God. <laughs> Dad naturally was very upset and flustered. I mean, the man thinks that his daughter is wandering the streets alone and cold and hungry and probably being eaten by coyotes or squirrels or something, I don't know. <laughs> so he declares, We must go forth and return the second born to her rightful place. In these, the hallowed halls of Castle Perham. Okay, I wasn't in the room at the time, but I'm pretty sure that's what he said. In his mind. Either way, he told my mom and sister to get ready for the search. But before the harrowing journey <laughs> could commence, he had to make a pit stop at the bathroom. Now up until this point, Mom and Rachel had done their parts perfectly, but leave it to me to mess up the joke. The joke that was my idea. For you see, there was a wealth of hiding places in that house. Any number of spots would have sufficed. But I chose possibly the worst place apart from just standing out in the open with a lampshade on my head. Oh no. I picked my mom and dad's shower that had a frosted but still very transparent glass door. Not to make fun of you, Rebecca. But even I pulled an idiotic stunt like that. For to explain, when I was eight, because that was the youngest hide and seek thing I have ever done, it was outdoors at my grandparents' house. At the time, they had a tree, but it was not covered by anything, because it was one of those almost see-through trees because of the leaves. I thought if I stood behind the tree. I'll be the last one pit, because there wasn't as many hiding spots. Because it was basically an open yard, one tree, a shed, and a garden. 
here's the kicker though. The one who was seeking started at the tree from the opposite end. I should have been smarter than that, but no, I pull a big dumb. My sister, on the other hand, tried to hide in the shower, which has a seafood curtain. I don't know why we have that curtain. Like, do you want privacy? No, because my dad was psycho one too many times and was afraid that he's going to turn his back. Turn his back, turn around and see one of us with a knife or see a kill with a knife. Yes, real story. That's why we have a seafood curtain and it's disgusting looking and I hope it gets replaced one day. Terrifies me. Anyways, let's go. So when Dad walked into the bathroom... <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying is that I already paid for the order. It's not my problem how you get 426 pumpkins out here. I'll call you back. <laughs> <clears throat> Dad found me in the shower and was rightfully upset. Probably very relieved, but very upset. Yeah. Mom and Rachel soon came in laughing hysterically, further rubbing salt in Dad's wound. You all are a bunch of jerks. And as if this whole video couldn't get any juicier, look what my mother found. This is the oh, actual wow. note from this story. She kept it all of those years. Oh, wow. You can date this thing and get 25 years of gunk off of it. And if you'll make note, fellow scholars, you shall see that the handwriting has scarcely changed. Also, I just love the fact that at the bottom here I wrote I love you four times just to make sure that my parents knew this was not personal. Those of you feeling sorry for my dad, don't worry. They say there's only five love languages, but my family has a sixth one. Messing with each other. Dad got his revenge <laughs> hundreds of times over the years. And trust Uh, yeah, yeah. On my mom's side of the family and honestly the more and more all uh, that side of the family gets closer to being together making jokes about each other and yelling at each other is how we show love on my that side of the family involves cussing we like to say remember when you cut off the chicken's head when you were like 10 years old And it's like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> my dad. My family's fucking bizarre, okay? <laughs> That's what happens when you miss multiple European heritage and Southern with Indiana. It makes no sense. <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we make fun of each other to the best of our abilities. If we don't ma make fun of each other, even when we make calls, something's wrong. Trust me when I say, I loved every moment of it. <laughs> and who would want to run away from that? Thanks for joining me for a picnic, Explainers. And thank you so much for tuning in, but now... Ah, shite. This is why, this is why I live in the city. Don't do that shit to me. <laughs> Don't do that shit to me. But that was a really funny video. Rebecca never changed with the way you tell stories, man. So comedic and so flowy. God, I love it. 